Hey everyone, welcome to Red Alert 3. Welcome. Now, I actually love this game and think this game is one of the most balanced games ever, really. Especially um, the Command & Conquer series. It's just absolutely perfect and the interaction between the two, three different teams is just mwah, beautiful. So, I'm just going to play a skirmish game today. Unfortunately, the online has depreciated, but there are some, some ways that you can actually still play it. But uh, I'm just still going to... Okay, this is going to pop up, right? Which is really annoying because um, the server that this used to run on is down permanently. Because the company decided they didn't want it anymore, so... Okay, let's go skirmish. Okay, and, uh, let's go for a good old map. Uh, this map's pretty awesome. It is. I've got double commentary on, by the way. I just kind of thought, well... I recorded this, but the resolution of the video is too small, so I had to re-record it. So, lucky you, you get double resolution. I should have put them all on brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just have a nice mix. So the three teams in this game are the Japanese, the Allies, and the Russians. And uh, all three are um, pretty good, actually. But uh, I think I'm going to go Chinese this, uh, sorry, Japanese this game. Because they are pretty cool and uh, I think my ally can do the same. Russia might be quite good, but um, better just team everyone up so uh, everything's good. Awesome, now let's um, jump in. Let's jump. Oh, nice construction yard. Oh, I love the cutscenes. What's for hotkey? It's F. Okay. It is <clears throat> very useful. So hotkey. as you can see, the Japanese here can quickly construct buildings. And um, however, the only downside is um, refinery cores cost five hundred more. But still, it's it's fine. That's it. Get them up quick. Like I say, this is such a charming old game. Okay, so we want to advance as quickly as possible. That way you will. One of the cool things about this map is um, player one and the, well, player three up here can um, kind of grab these resources pretty quickly. So it's more fun against human beings, Although but... People can um, actually put some terror drones up here if they want to. So again, I'm playing on a very large screen and there's no issues. Still works really well. No, it doesn't. Had to re-record this. <laughs> so let's get some engineers. Engineers? The These are going to be built in my um, second base up top. Engineers? Okay. To be honest, I haven't really played this for a... Um, Ages, and I'm playing with some brutal way ally, brutal way eyes. So uh, yeah, like two a lot them. more energy. Should have done them all brutal, mate. Honestly, such a noob. So again, if I had um, terror drones up here, or if the enemy could put terror drones up here, or other units, they could just kill everyone. But just kind of hoping we're not going to do that too much. No, they're not. So, and you can use any shooter. Doesn't have to be terror drone. See what? That's probably enough engineers. I want to take some of these buildings. Right. Let's get this decked up. Bear in mind, I started with four thousand credits, so that's a lot of credits. That's a lot of credits. Up here. You won't need one there. I can tell you. It's basically. One of the keys to this map is um, really good air and um, water control. If you can keep control of the water, you you can basically win this map. Yeah, the allies. It's a fantastic game. Well, it's a fantastic map because it really takes advantage of everything the game has to offer. The allies' water is just fantastic. Especially when you get tier 3. It's just... Um, okay, so we've got Russia here. That's amazing. 
let's get these deployed in some houses. So you can see you can um, deploy units on the minimap here. These will just protect um, the place from uh, engineers and things, so... So... Oh, we didn't finish the sentence, did he? Ah. Again, in this game you can press X and it kind of pushes everyone around, which is kind of cool. Also, you can put them on um, aggressive stance. Aggressive stance is a uh, defensive awesome. stance, so they'll actively seek out and attack things that come near it. Oh, look. Someone died there. I think I'm going to need some air defense up here, to be honest. So, um, no, you don't. Oh, uh, no spoilers. Come on. Okay, I'm going to give you a spoiler. Yuriko is fantastic. Yuriko is just amazing in this. They're basically, um, well, they can fly and they can um, shoot out rockets. Oh, or else film the land for fantastic anti air. As Blue will demonstrate. See, yeah, the Japanese are all about countering, basically. They're, um. That's really their strength, you know. They're super fast and speedy and. Oh, no. Blew up his oil. So he, we can see, um, Blue's obviously Japanese. Obviously. Oh, this is a good map, isn't it? I love this map. See what I mean? They're so good at anti-air, they just flew away. To be honest, I, if I was playing against people, I'd actually destroy the bridge just to stop them coming across, but I think I'm okay for now. A lot of this game sort of played looking at the minimap actually. So. Yeah, one of the weird things about this game is um, everything's so big, you know, the resolution of my screen is huge. I'm still producing the X. I've got a good um, amount of resources coming in. I could do with more actually. Okay, my ally's actually in trouble, so I might go um, sort of help them actually. Anti air. See you, Anti air. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to get him to attack this bridge. Oh no, he's going to kill one of the units! Oh shoot, oh. I lost the unit. That was tragic. <gasps> so awful. So again, this is one of my favourite ever Command & Conquer games, you know, like I say, it's incredibly well balanced. It is. I love this game. Yeah, it's so cool. Awesome. Well, it's not actually. To be ah. honest, if I just provide some anti-air from um, the allies here, that would be a really beneficial thing to do. That's Giles, by the way. He goes, um, does a lot of air stuff, but he's kind of weak. Okay, so I'm going to need some more energy. So yeah, it's right, I was looking at taking that. It's the current year and this game's still pretty awesome, but uh there's a few bugs in it because the server's down. But again I was thinking of um maybe getting some air defenses there. Okay, so what's happening? I tell you what's gonna happen, Yuriko is gonna be awesome. So again, this unit's pretty awesome, but yeah. um I suppose our weakness is um, anti-unit. Anti-unit, anti and... See, she's going to take this out fine. No, actually, Yuriko's weakness is crowding. More powerful. Look, the tank's no problem for her. Got to attack hard and fast and kill her. But... Oh, oh, get out, get out, get out. Quick, quick, quick. If you can... Oh. oh yeah, Yuriko is pretty awesome right now. Yeah, she is. Mind you, it's only a Giles. 
Only a Giles. Oh, get her away from it. Again, she can just push um push units straight out of the sky, so she's pretty awesome. She is pretty awesome. Look at that, it's just dead. Yeah, so she's absolutely dominating right now. I don't want to lose her though, really don't. Take off the power and you'll be fine, mate. That's it. Yeah, looks like, um, sweet. To be fair, Giles is probably one of the weakest, um, yeah, he is. Not one of the weakest enemies, but still, it's good to, uh, you can right. actually, you can actually, I'm just trying to confuse the enemy with, um, a few troops and stuff, so, um, to really cover Yuriko. Okay, so we've got two enemies on the island left. Um, look at me all presumptuous. Get some more of these. See if we can sneak in to do some damage. Yeah, so she's fully promoted, so she's um, incredibly powerful right now. Yep, she's yes. awesome. Favorite unit in the game, actually. Hopefully this won't kill her. Oh, no, it won't. No, no, perfect. Spoilers. They've got low power, so all their um, base defenses are down. Oh wow, this was um pretty easy to destroy. So again, I've got all of these. Let's um, just control. Let's press A and send them to attack move. Send them to their deaths. They're not going to do anything. Oh, such a shame. So again, air units take um, area damage. So, oh, I've got to watch out for these dudes. Now, nah, the range is rubbish. You're fine. So again, you can just imagine someone sort of clicking like crazy and just obliterating entire armies. And we can do our silent scream. Fantastic. That kills um, nearby enemy troops. But yeah, she'll need to recharge that. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to have to... Look, look, the bridge is destroyed. Be very panicked. She can also move across water, so I'm going to just sneak in. Oh, look, there's a ninja. Let's get rid of that ninja. Sweet, and the ninja is dead. Probably more difficult to, um, to kill a human player. Well, it would be, because but, a human um, player can um, kill Yuriko fairly easily. I don't know. I love Yuriko. She's um, my favourite... Favourite superhero on here, really. Superhero. Oh, oh. And look what Red's doing. Red's you know, moved up here. Yuriko's awesome when you sneak up on someone and you just To be honest, I haven't really been paying attention to my um, to the helicopters, but... Uh... Oh, and that's dead. Okay, my um, Yuriko's going to be killed, I think. Ah! She's dead. Don't worry, Yuko. I will avenge you. <laughs> Spread them out a bit and just attack. Again, they're all gonna die. It's such a shame. <gasps> oh, I shouldn't tell you that. Let's get um rocket angels. They're pretty awesome. Yes and no. Kind of awesome if the enemy doesn't have air defenses, but. They do have air defences, they're kind of alright. You can micro with them really well, you can actually paralyse units.
Again, these games have always been about stopping the enemy from reproducing, Ooh, basically. Why would he click? Oh my gosh. Get him. So yeah, you s destroy the enemy's ability to reproduce and uh, you can pretty much grind them down to nothing. That's one of the tips for... Send Yuriko up there. Um... Oh, that's the great thing about this game, right? Because everything counters, everything can be countered. Then, um, a small force can means counter that, a large um, force. You know, a much smaller force can destroy a bigger force. If um, I'm distracted by the game, honestly, it's ridiculous. If it's weak against it, or strongly, <sighs> should just concentrate on playing, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about the commentary. Yeah, I'll do the talking. It's fine. <sighs> Don't sigh. So we're pretty sure that red's been destroyed by now. Mm, I think it has, yeah. Maybe we should re-establish a bridge, send an engineer in. Yeah, maybe then all your units won't die, huh? Oh look, he's going to build a bridge. I don't know if we need to, but we probably build a few, a few more refineries. No, Wait, you don't need that. Don't. Air. Great. In case Yuriko's gonna go in there. Wow, so um, ground units are kind of running everywhere. Yeah, because you told them to. Okay, let's repair the bridge and then our troops can move in more easily. I miss bridges, they're so awesome. They were so good in Tiberium Sun. Oh dear. What's her end on You remember that giant robot in Tiberium Sun near the end of it? It's really Blue's the only guy left, it seems. If you get him on the bridge oh, and look. destroy the bridge, it kills him instantly. You know, the giant death robot that's the most powerful unit fantastic. in the game. Fantastic, sort of showing them. Yeah, bridges are fantastic. Of course, they can't shoot um, against their units. No, they can't. Oh yeah, Q selects every unit in, on the map. It's pretty good. Just send them all to get blue, eh? To be fair, blue's probably the best player. <laughs> Better than me. Okay, so the VX aren't actually very um effective, so I think I'm gonna stick with um Long Maybe range. I'm gonna get some um, Shinobi of a King Oni. No, you're going to use Wave Force Artillery. A sort of giant walking mechs are pretty sweet. Honestly, the um, enemy must be pretty dead by now. Yeah, they would be if you stopped losing all your units, mate. <laughs> Again, Blue's putting up a pretty good defense here, so... Yeah, for now, but it won't last. Oh, spoilers. Another Yuriko. Yeah, I do. Then the last one died. Incompetence. To be yeah, fair. I'm sort of out of practice with this game, but uh, doesn't really? matter. I mean, victory is pretty much assured anyway. Okay, so we need to obviously destroy the construction yard here. I'm sleepy. I'm just going to tell him to get in that house and shoot anything that comes in. Get in the house! get some way force artillery actually told you it's almost like I've seen this before maybe you can um, actually use these but use them for the um, air defense crumbs the puffing I really doesn't know what to do That's because it's an avoidance AI, as opposed to a sort of pathway finder. Okay, let's see if we can take out that construction yard with um Yuriko here. Okay, so we really want to get... Let's put her on um aggressive stance. Grr, aggressive stance. And she'll um destroy any kind of um air unit that comes near her. Which is there were any air uh, units left, she probably would, see yeah. See if we can do this, just with her. You can. My mind is made up. Pretty much. Enemy infiltrator detected. Enemy engineer detected. Let's see what they have 
Find the screen quick. Oh, there we go. She's so good with tanks. I just love it. You know. Again, Messini is just fantastic. You know the Russian zeppelins and Yuriko. You know, you have this massive Russian zeppelin, and she just obliterates it. It's awesome. Literally, just. Pulls it to the ground. And Such that's cool it. Unit. We're pretty much done, I guess. Apart from the northeast, northwest. There's a unit in the northwest. Look at the minimap. You can probably see it. It's in blue. Okay, so as far as I know, I've won. There might be a few. Okay, there's this unit, but it should be. Uh... That unit doesn't count. I'm going to assume you know it's um, Beast and a Power anymore. It's only production buildings that count towards the uh, buildings. Ooh, okay. But he's clearly going somewhere. Yeah, to the construction yard. Oh! See your harvesters up top there. Told you so. See if they can destroy it. Sweet. So um, I've sent everyone I have to uh, destroy. And as far as I know, that's the game completed. It Thanks is. for watching, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more. Please don't tell me you want to see more. It's quite hard to record. Resolution. Oh, and I love up. that map. It's so cool. Yeah, it's all right. Look, I've still got five down. Five down. Five different powers down here I didn't even use. Because you didn't need to. Heck, let's just look through um stats. So look, purple kind of beat me at the end, but never mind. People, purple beat you the whole way through. Come on. You got the most resources. So I didn't even get that many resources. Look at purple. Because you was being lazy, that's why. Wins loss. Let's just have a look at that. Um, It's about 1.05. 1.03, oh my goodness. Kill death ratio. So that's about, yeah, right about for every one I created, um, so many were destroyed. So that's probably quite bad on my part because I did send a lot of units to their deaths, probably unnecessarily, when um, sort of more of a tactical strike might have been better. But uh, the families will never get over it. Yeah, never mind. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, please let me know if you'd like to see more. But you Goodbye. don't. Goodbye. It's really hard, that game, to record.